morning. Joseph Carr here at Schaefer Chevrolet. Wanted to make a little video for you, kind of highlighting the, the features on the 2015 Ford F-350 6.7 Power Stroke. Um, I know you said you kind of wanted a couple photos and a little bit of information, but I kind of also figured a video would do a little bit more justice to this stuff because I kind of suck at explaining things since I'm not uh, mechanically savvy. So, uh, I'm going to go from the outside to the awards, the inside, and then the interior, pointing out all the great features that are on this truck, and hopefully you'll appreciate them as well. So starting up front here, you got your Super Duty badge, Ford, your tow hooks right there, and you've got your engine block heater up underneath. Woo! It's a little bit bigger than my hand. It's a big truck. I don't want to get hit by it. Anyways, moving around to the right quarter panel here. I'm not really noting any major damage, things, scratches, whatnot. This is just water. It rained last night. As you can see, I'm wiping it off, and it's still wet because it's metal. Anyways, tires. You have some pretty good tires on here. The rims look to be in good condition. Tread depth, it's still there. I'd say probably about 50%. Um, I'd have to actually get a measurement to double check that for you, so don't quote me. Shocks and everything look like they're in pretty good condition still underside right there your 6.7 power stroke right there for your uh diesel engine you've got running boards they're not power though you've got a power mirror though you've got your turn signal blind spot your mirror defroster trailing mirrors and then on the inside right there is a button that these will power extend in and out for you so that way you don't have to really worry uh, about pulling them out manually each vehicle is equipped with an anti-theft device that your insurance companies usually ask about. It's that CSC-1300. Again, right there. It's on five windows of the vehicle. I'm going to get up underneath here a little so you can kind of see the uh, undercarriage a little bit better. Looks to be in pretty good condition. There's your rockers. All right. Not really noting any damage or dings on the sides of the door outside of what you're gonna see with a little bit of wear and tear. Light surface scratch going across right here. But again, no dings, no dents, no rust, nothing major. Scratch. And that's dirt. Take a look over here. Everything looks to be in, in good condition. There's where your def goes and in your diesel intake. Check under the rear wheel well. Matching tire. Four by four. Look to be about a six and a half foot box. I'm six foot four, so again, hand's gonna go here all the way to right there. That's about six and a half feet. So if you need to do some hauling, you'll have the space that you need. Move around to the back. You got your super duty on the tailgate as well with your backup camera underneath your Ford emblem, your hitch, your wires. Sensors, Schaefer Chevrolet, and underneath is where your spare is going to be. Let's drop this tailgate, shall we? Lift up under here so you can kind of get a look. I would highly recommend, just because I tell this to everybody else, take out the plastic liner, get a spray and moisture and everything can get caught up underneath. That's just my personal preference though. So. Moving around to the rear quarter panel, here are your mufflers, your 4x4 again. Not really noting any damage again, I mean you've still got that surface scratch going across right there. But everything looks good, same tire. Get back up underneath here. Lots of metal. Move underneath so you can check out the undercarriage and these rockers as well. Everything looks to be pretty good. As I look at the door, no major dings or dents. The vehicle is covered with our six months, 6,000 mile limited powertrain warranty here at Schaefer Chevrolet, 5050 parts and labor. I'd have to double check to see if it still has any factory warranty left over. Driver door looks to be pretty good as well. No major dings or dents as hard as it's to tell with the water on. So please forgive me if I overlook anything. Power mirror again. 
Now here's the kicker for me. This vehicle has a remote start and being a diesel that just kind of blows me away, but it does work. We're gonna hit this twice. Woo! The beast runs. Let's pop the hood, shall we? Need to make sure I turn the key. Because if I pop the hood, it's gonna go away. But let's make sure all of our lights are good. Turn on the key to drive. There's your mileage. Fifty-two thousand three hundred and one miles. No major lights. Let's pop that hood, shall we? And right down here. Battery one. Battery two. Everything looks to be in working order underneath. Let's climb back in and appreciate the leather and the luxury of a Lariat. Power seats, lumbar support as well. Here on the window as well, you've got driver's seat memory. Again, this button right here is gonna power, extend your mirrors. It'll go out further, but I mean, for time's sake, I'm shortening it. Power works, power windows, no major rips, tears, or stains, or even scents that I have inside. Auxiliaries, I don't know what those do, so I'm not smart. We've got your 12 volt, there's a horn, I believe, or air brake. Then down here's all the cup holders, touchscreen radio, navigation. Ah. Look around. You can set climate options up here too, so you have heated seats and air conditions. And you can program it for your passenger as well. You've got a seat right here, two cup holders, and an extra storage compartment, but we can lift it up and create room for another passenger. And underneath here, there's another compartment. Now it looks as if that's a lockbox as well. So you can put your special items that need to stay out of sight, out of mind for you or your passengers. One or 110 volt. And then to be able to plug into your sink, you got this button up here. So let's press the button. And there you have your plugs, your SD card reader for the maps and updates on there, plus a couple of USB ports and your 12 volt outlet parking traction four-wheel drive audio and bluetooth and cruise control settings let's move into the back seat and see what we have back there oh i also forgot to show you here on the mirror you do have programmable stuff for your garage door for your sunglasses this is for your power sliding rear window move around and again your second full door no major rips that I'm noting as I come in to the back seat. Looks like we have a lever and we're gonna lift up and an extra storage compartment for you here and it looks like it extends over there as well. To release it, press the lever again and check that out. You even have a 110 outlet down there. Or I'm sorry, not a 110 but just a 10 volt to be able to plug in for your passenger. Power sliding rear window and let me just go over there and see if we have another one or another outlet. Um, for the passengers in the back like that one had. Don't quote me, but let's see. Lift up on the seat. And no extra outlet right there, but plenty of extra storage space. Cup holders and your door. So again, my name is Joseph Carr here at Schaefer Chevrolet. Please follow up with me if you have any questions or concerns, and I'll look forward to talking to you soon.